This is Bandwagon TV and I'm with Ray Remington. Now this is a new segment of part of the Bandwagon TV show. It's called Pit Stop. And this is actually our first premiere episode and I'm so lucky to have Ray Remington here in the historic Lukenbach, Texas. So why not introduce my first guest, Ray Remington. How you doing? Howdy. Yeah, yeah, good. Oh, yeah, glad to be here. So just uh, real quick, where are you from? Yeah, uh, so originally from Southern California. Okay. I uh, grew up in Bakersfield, California a bit. And where do you live now? Uh, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, just real quick, you just released an EP? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, when Tec was that? That was in January? Yeah, January 24th, uh, and the title is called Texas Rose. Okay, yeah. and what brought you here to Austin, yeah. Texas? Well, uh, excited to hang out with y'all, so that was part of my bucket list. Okay. Uh, and so we've been uh, just, uh, my family and I, uh, my wife and our two boys, uh, wanted to kind of explore Austin. Always been fans of people, you know, songwriters that came from Austin um, and, you know, just the influences there. So being able to take that in, uh, the barbecue, the coffee has all been pretty <laughs> awesome. You big so, coffee drinker? Yes. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Every day I've been here, we've been trying a new place. Okay. So, you yeah. want to plug maybe a spot yeah. real quick? Yeah. And, uh... Uh, so Cosmic Coffee, you were awesome and uh, pleasing to my taste buds. So. <laughs> well, I'm a coffee drinker too, so yeah. that sounds good. Um, all right. So back to the EP. Mm -hmm. uh, you released it. How'd you get started in music? I mean, have yeah. you been doing this at a young age? Yeah, uh, so I first started playing guitar at the age of five um, and around 12 years old started I picked up electric guitar and uh, was heavily influenced by a lot of uh, traditional country early on. Um, I also did music at the church I grew up in, uh, Assemblies of God Church, so you heard a lot of southern gospel, different stuff like that, yep. that style, and I made the switch in about 2016 uh, from Christian music to Americana country. Okay. And then just a little bit, I guess a segue, mm -hmm. the influences that you have, yeah. I mean, obviously with some of the songs that you'll play, you have Buck Owens and Dwight Yoakam, but yeah. what are some other influences? And yeah, um, so some of the, so obviously the Bakersfield sound is a big one, um, but I also love um, Marty Stewart is, you know, a big influence. Um, just, I mean, the guy in the 90s, all that stuff, and I know he came back to very traditional country, uh, but he just had the sound, you mm -hmm. know, in the 80s, the 90s that I loved. Um, his song Little Things as well. Um, I mean, it's just that kind of sound that I want, you know, so. Um, and the look as well. I mean, yeah, I can tell yeah. with the fashion. I'm in the fashion too. Yeah, so if absolutely. you want the type of jacket that you're wearing right now. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to uh, Double D Ranch out of Yoakum, Texas. Uh, this is their piece. And um, we've done some photo shoots with it. Uh, and Very I cool. loved, yeah, wearing it, yeah, yeah wherever. Well, I'm so. glad you wore it for this episode. Yeah. I said my mom is yeah. a big fan. I hope you bring yeah. it. Yeah, oh, did, yeah. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Well, you talked about your family. Yeah. And they're obviously a, a very important piece to your, you know, in yes. your overall lifestyle mm -hmm. and support. How yeah. do you, I guess, deal and juggle with both being a musician, which you're doing full time, yeah, mm -hmm. and with having two young boys and a right. wife? Yeah. How yeah. does that work out with that dynamic? Yeah. So for me, it's been. Um, you'll always see. Some of my friends will always say, "You'll see me right to the point of hitting the stage. You'll see me with my oldest one. You know." grabbing him or something he's trying to get to the stage you know so um you know i'm a dad all the way up you know uh, that's very cool yeah yeah doing it all and uh, even from stage i'm kind of keeping an eye on him you know and, uh huh uh but Does he yeah play? uh yeah he's actually got his own guitar he got his first bolo tie today cool. as well so very cool uh, and some allen boots always so, yeah you have to, i guess in texas exactly yeah and they were great um at allen boots so yeah he's got the whole western thing going on and so you said, how old is he? Uh, so my oldest, uh, Benjamin, is uh, five years old, okay. and our youngest is ten months, Logan Stetson. Okay, so. Logan Stetson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tried to name him Hank, but my wife wouldn't go for it, so she was okay with Stetson. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Um, so how old were you when you started? Yeah. I mean, I know you mentioned the church, yeah. and how old were you again? Uh, so I started around five years old, okay. and around 12, 13 is when I started doing Christian music. Okay. Um, wrote my first song around 15. Um, Did you, you always know. want to be a musician? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, so absolutely. This has been a passion. Yeah, yeah. Ever since I was a kid, um, I would just watch. Uh, my mom loves Coal Miner's Daughter, so okay. I watched that. Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of my <laughs> so favorite my movies. Now. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, you know that was always a favorite. You know, <laughs> Loretta Lynn's a huge yeah. part. Merle Haggard, yeah. Johnny Cash. Okay. Yeah. Well, so obviously being in Lukenbach, some yeah. of our you know fans that are watching might not be familiar with it, but yeah. it's a huge historical site. So it's the mecca. It yeah. could be of country, Texas country with Willie and Waylon, Absolutely. and there's a song too about it. I know when we were talking mm -hmm. through you know Instagram, uh, I'd asked what you know where you wanted to go, and yes, we yeah. could have done awesome, but I felt like yeah. taking you here with your family would have been a very cool thing to do. So yeah. I'm glad we got a chance to do that. Yeah, and you know Waylon Jennings and Willie are definitely some of my favorite. My wife actually just um, got uh, me one of his books, and then I tried his uh, CBD coffee as Did well. So that was, was pretty that? incredible. Okay. <laughs> Willie's Reserve, I guess they call it. So, so it was okay. pretty awesome. And, Thanks, and, Willie. And your, and your family background? What is? I mean, in yeah. terms of, I know you mentioned that you're Native American and, and Italian. How yeah. has that worked out with you know just the influences of country music? Yeah, it's it's worked out really cool. Um, you know, people have been really receptive to it mm -hmm. um, and really interested in the culture, which okay. is great. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually collecting collaborating with um, a company, um, organization I should say, um, called Red House. Okay. Uh, and so they are based out of New York. Okay. And they're working on a television series right now. Um, and they've asked me to write uh, the song wow. for the television Very series. Cool. Um, might be on HBO, so they're okay. kind of working out the networks. But I actually, um, and this is news, I haven't said this yet, but um, I co-wrote not only with my uh, producer, Ben Reno of Majestic Ape Studios, uh, but John Fusco, um, who has uh, made the movie Young Guns, uh, wow. Crossroads, Thunderheart. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so we co-wrote a song for um, the, the television series, which That's will exciting. be launched yeah, next year. Next year, yep. okay, so 2021, yeah. we'll have to watch for it. Yeah, yeah, okay. so it's, uh, and it all has to do with um, indigenous women going um, missing and murdered. And I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. I also saw a post on your Instagram, which we'll plug here in a minute, yeah. but I'm glad you brought that up and getting involved with something like that. Yeah. Passionate about for years. Yeah, so I would say uh, probably the past year of living in Montana mm -hmm. and um, just seeing, I mean, out there there's so many you know, signs, even businesses uh, missing indigenous women, you know, you just see it all over. And um, so, yeah, I think this past year I really picked up, you know, wanting to mm -hmm. bring awareness to it. Well, I'm glad you did, because yeah. I know we didn't talk before about it over mm -hmm. the show, but I've also noticed more articles being posted, yeah. you know, about mm -hmm. situations with missing and right. indigenous women mm -hmm. and in their women's rights yeah. to become a hot mm -hmm. button issue. Absolutely. So, good. Yeah. Being that you are now living in Nashville and yeah. being Texas, yeah, absolutely. Are you finding a lot of similarities? I know sometimes yeah. we look at differences, mm -hmm. but what are the similarities that you're finding yeah. between those two cities? Yeah, um, well, I love both, and I think you know, being here in Austin has really you know kind of shined light. I've heard kind of you know music on both uh, sides of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, I love the history of both, mm -hmm. uh, which I obviously incorporate in both uh, sides of my music. Um, for me, influences in uh, in Nashville would have to be at East Nashville, American Legion Post 82. Uh, there's a pocket in Nashville where you can hear a traditional, um, almost like 50s country music. Cool. Uh, so I, I really see that um, part of the influence. There's um, I'm not so involved with um, the hip hop, you know, side of the the country, mm -hmm. but uh, I think Chris Stapleton says it best. You know, we um, I'll try to take our best take on country music, yeah. uh, and that's how we write. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I love about Austin is, I almost feel like Bakersfield sound and Austin kind of go hand in okay. hand. Um, and you just have this twang. And my mom's from San Antonio, so I it's obviously full circle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a, a heart for Texas for sure, and um, the sounds that come out of here. So well, we hope you come back. And again, yeah. it being that this mm -hmm. is the first time we're posting pit stop. Yeah. Um, we're hoping that when we do get the uh, car again for bandwagon, yeah. that we get you in that. That's car gonna be awesome. Maybe San yeah. Antonio is where we make yeah. it happen. Yeah. The there Alamo, you go. So. That would be awesome. So yeah. just to wrap up real quick, is there uh, before we get you to play a song for us from the EP? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just wondering, is there plugs that uh, the fans should know? Some early conversations about uh, me joining New West Records out here in Austin. Wow. Uh, so there's That's that exciting. as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Well, and then social media plugs. Are you? Um, where can we find you in terms of listening to your music? Yeah. 
uh, your EP? Yeah, you could find me. Uh, user is at Ray Remington Music. It's on uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I don't tweet, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm there. <laughs> it's okay. So, yeah. And then where can we stream your music? Yeah, you can stream me on all digital platforms. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. Very yeah. cool. Well, Ray, yeah. again, thank, thank you, you so very much, much for Nick. doing this. Yeah. This is Ray Remington, and this is my song called Shotgun in My Hands off the Texas Rose EP. It's one of my favorites, being that I am a huge yeah. Dwight fan and Buck yeah. Owens. I felt like, uh, just especially wearing yeah. that jacket. That awesome. Might, <laughs> that you agreed yeah. to play that song. Yeah, so thank absolutely. You again. Yeah, All right. you're welcome. All right, we well, appreciate okay. it. Yeah, here we go. Kind of uh, do this.
This is Ray Remington, and uh, this is my song off the new EP, Texas Ropes. Here you go. Yeah. 